and welcome back to my channel <laughs> today I am doing this very chickeny <laughs> look but yeah this look is inspired by the Pantone spicy mustard look that makeup mouse make <laughs> makeup mouse or Heather Morehouse did on her channel um, you should definitely check that out. I will leave a link down below. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I thought that this would be an appropriate video seeing how Easter is coming up right around the corner. Like, it's in a week. <laughs> no, when this video comes out, it will be... Yeah, when this video comes out it will be Maundy Thursday um, but in Sweden we say Kvartusta <laughs> but yeah so when this comes up Easter is in two days I hope that you will enjoy this tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel give the video a thumbs up and to leave a comment and let go today I'm starting off by doing my base so I am taking the Coverage Foundation by The Ordinary And now I'm taking the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer And for powder I am of course going in with the Lumine Sheer Finish Loose Powder. Now I am taking the Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer from Elizabeth Mott. And now I am taking the Sulu palette by Juvia's Place. And for starters, I'll be going in with this yellow color right here. And I will be putting this in my crease. We'll start off like that, and now I'm going in with the orange color from the same palette. Okay, focusing on my nail, that's nice, but here we go. Um, and I will work this, um, I guess I'll work it in more into the crease and also on the outer portion of my lid. Holy fucks! The weather outside is frightful. Now I am going back in with the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and I will be cutting a crease with this. And now I am going back in with the yellow color we used earlier and I will be applying this to my lid.
As you can see, I changed my mind a bit. I started off by just doing the inner corner and like half of the lid, but I chose to do a whole thing of bob. And then I went back in with the orange around it just to make it more, you know? <laughs> now I am going in with the cyber shadow from makeup store and this is in the color and this is in the color raw and I think I'm going to put this on my inner corner now I'm going back in with the orange color and I will be putting this below my eye Just below this, I will be going in again with this yellow. And next I'll be taking that yellow color again and putting it like as a blush and a bronzer. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> And now I'm going in with the orange color again to contour. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows and I am, as usual, <laughs> taking the Paradise Pomade Ecstatic from L'Oreal Paris. And now I'm taking the Clear Water Resistant Eyebrow Gel from The Brow Gal. <laughs> and now I'm taking the Big Eyes Liner from Maybelline and I will be using the black side for my upper waterline and the white side for my lower. made a bit of a liner to hide the lash band later uh, but now I'm going in with the Volume Million Lashes Feline Mascara from L'Oreal Paris
So I put some lashes on and these are in the style Famous and are by Rebecca Stella Makeup. I just realized I forgot about highlight, so I'm going to go in with the Infinity Palette by Linda Hallberg Cosmetics. And I will be using the color Virgio. Virgio? Virgio? I don't know what it's called. It's this one. And now we will be going in with some lipstick and this is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick and this is in the color Orange County. And now I think I will be going back in with the Cyber Shadow from Makeup Store in the color Raw. And I will be putting this on top of my lipstick. I'm just gonna put my hair down, I think, and I will be right back. So this is the finished look, you guys. Obviously, my hair looks like shit, <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing I can do about that because I'm terrible with hair. So yeah, but yeah, this is it, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that. You you enjoyed the finished look. <laughs> Anyways, if you did enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, and to leave a comment saying what you thought or what you want to see in my next video. And I'll see you then. Bye!